fox. The leopard one day, in hearing of the fox, was very loud in the praise of his own beautifully spotted skin. The fox thereupon told him that, handsome as he might be, he considered that he himself was yet a great deal handsomer. Your beauty is of the body, said the fox, mine is of the mind. Beauty is skin deep. The Three Vases By a lifetime of scraping, a miser once hoarded up a large quantity of gold, which he placed in three vases and buried. When at length, being on his deathbed, he called his three sons to him and informed them of the treasure he had left them, and of the spot in which they lay hid, in three separate vases, one for each of them. He could not finish all he had to say. A fainting fit seized him, and he expired. Now, as the young men had never seen these vases, they concluded that in all probability they would differ in size and value, and as their father died before he could assign to each his particular vase, that business must be settled by themselves. Thus, on the division of their wealth, they entered into warm dispute, each laying claim to the largest vase, one because he was the eldest, the second son, because he had no property in lands to support him, and the youngest, because he was the favorite of his father, and therefore was sure the largest share would have been bequeathed to him, had his dying parent been but able to finish his last speech. Words at length ran very high, and quickly came to blows, from which none of them escaped unhurt, when, after all this wrangle, ill blood and mischief done, it was discovered, on digging up the three vases, that they were exactly equal in size and value. Be sure of your cause before you quarrel. The Lion and the Mouse A lion, tired with the chase, lay sleeping at full length under a shady tree, some mice, scrambling over him while he slept, awoke him. Laying his paw upon one of them, he was about to crush him, when the mouse implored his mercy. Spare me, O king, said he, and maybe the day will come when I can be of service to you. The lion, tickled with the idea of the mouse helping him, lifted his paw and let the little creature go. Some time after, the lion was caught in a net laid by some hunters, and, unable to free himself, made the forest resound with his roars. The mouse, whose life had been spared, came, and with his little sharp teeth soon gnawed the ropes asunder and set the lion free. The least may help the greatest.